Uh, hi everyone, this is Akash from PNP. I'll show you today how to install Plex on your Ugreen Mesh using Docker. Uh, I myself use Jellyfin, but uh, many of people I know uh, like Plex because of its um, interface and some of them actually have taken Plex Pass as well. We'll be using only GUI, so no command line at all. You'll be able to copy paste point and click and be done with it in 5 minutes. Alright, so let's open Docker. Uh, click on image, click on image database and let's look for a Plex image. Linux server is a very well known name so we'll use this image Linux server Plex. Click on this just to look at the description of what this image is and what variables you would need. You come down they tell you with docker compose you need to use this in docker compose. We'll not use docker compose because that's get a little complicated. Uh, we'll, we'll use uh, easier mode. So we'll need to use uh, host mode, we'll, this is the container name, this is the image of course. Uh, PUID and PGID, I'll, I'll tell you about this in a little while. Uh, TZ is the time zone, this is not absolutely essential, but if you want your logs to be um, uh, shown in your local time, then you will need to set a time zone as environment variable, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, volume, you will have to um, have any volumes which uh, are your media basically. So if your TV series media is in this directory then you will have to mount it under TV and all the movies you will have to mount under movies. Uh, this is the most important part. This um, is where you will mount your configuration directory. right? Your config directory will hold all your subtitles, metadata, posters and things like those. Uh, okay, So let's go back, download this, confirm. Now for PUID and PGID will just click on project for once and see that PUID is 1000 and PGID is 10. Generally they are automatically filled but you just have to make sure that they are right. So click on docker and click on container, click on new container and select Plex here. Linux server Plex, this is what we downloaded a little while ago. Uh, click on confirm, the name of the uh, container, uh, the CPU limit, uh, how many cores you want to allocate here. Uh, how much memory you want to give it, auto restart, graphic card, we don't have graphic card on this uh, unit so you don't need it. Okay, this is where if you see, see PUID is 1000, PGID is 10, this is what we saw uh, the value should be. Add your environment variable TZ which is your time zone. Your time zone you can look at it from uh, Wikipedia. I'm in Dubai so my time zone is Asia Dubai. Uh, all right we go back and okay so Asia Dubai volume as I told you earlier uh, I am first going to use my Plex config this is a, a directory that I created earlier to hold my Plex config which I am going to mount to config so Plex is going to um, uh, store the configuration um, in backslash config root config directory in the container which will be mounted onto my ugreen here you will of course need redirect permission you will have to add your all, all your media directories here. So if your media is let's say in uh, library for example and if this is the TV media then you will put TV here and give read write. All right? And similarly you will have to add movie as well. I'm not doing it because I don't have any media here. Uh, network configuration we will use host so no need to do anything else. This is it. That's all that you need to do. One small thing if you need hardware and coding uh, all right one small note about hardware acceleration here um, if you want hardware acceleration then you need three things remember one you need to have the gpu of course you have to have all the gpu drivers loaded into your ugreen and then third you have to give access to dri on the host which is basically um, a sort of a subdirectory under dri you have your first gpu and second gpu and third gpu you will have to give complete access to this. I'm not doing this now because I don't have GPU but if you want it, if you have Plex Pass, if you have a GPU, if your drivers are loaded then you will have to do this. Alright, so let's go back here and click on confirm. Confirm, let's see Linux server is running. Click on this, look at the log, alright, everything is okay. Everything is okay, it says it's running on 32400, alright. So let's open. Thirty-two four hundred. Ah, this is the XML we have to give. This is the path web. All right. So this will be basically your. Uh, sorry. 
so this is basically your NAS IP address on 32400 um, port with the path as web once you do that it takes you to a page which will uh, let you log in you can now sign in and it asks you a few questions got it I don't need Plex pass next the media library I don't have any media library here next server setup and done right here this is it uh, your Plex is there you can look at your trending if you have if, if I had my media then it would have shown me all the media thing here uh, that's all that it takes to uh, configure Plex on your Ugreen if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask them in the comment box and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can thank you